I have so much to update you on. Oh, the background of this is just fucking ugly. I'm not ugly. You're ugly. Want a Glasgow kiss? There we are. That looks better. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So I haven't vlogged. <laughs> in a hot minute. I haven't actually picked up my camera and filmed anything in literally the longest time. I've just been really, really busy. I have a lot to update you on, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I wanna vlog a lot more. I went to the park yesterday for the first time and met up with my friends, and we had like a little, I said we had like a little picnic. It then started to rain, so we all ran away, but we didn't actually have a picnic. I had a sandwich from Tesco's, so I kinda did have a picnic. I basically went out yesterday for the first time in probably like six weeks and I realized that I've missed actual life and I realized I miss vlogging I realized that there's a lot happening outside of me just at my desk working. <laughs> um, so I'm back. Hi everyone. I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging. Like I said, I want to vlog as much as I can like next year when we move out of this place and coronavirus is all over. I, like I plan on coming out of uni and just vlogging as much as possible because I absolutely love this channel. So yeah, that didn't really go to plan, did it? Silly me, silly me, silly me. <laughs> But yesterday I did in fact go out and that's not what I wanted to update you on But that sort of like got me thinking wow I really should have vlogged yesterday and really should just vlog more and now that I'm actually been able to leave the house and stuff I should probably do that. So I'm gonna update you quickly on what's been happening So obviously I finished uni the other day In fact, I also got a package this morning from the ragged priest this kickers jumper I've got another kickers jumper as well and the kickers t-shirt on damn I really am like hi sponsored by kickers I'll show you that in a second because I really really like it But that's where my outfits from I think it's really cool. I think it's really fun really fresh, but I obviously they finished uni not long ago. I vlogged all that in, didn't really vlog all that, but I sort of spoke about that in my vlogs. Obviously, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I vlogged so much moving to London and all that stuff, and now it's like over. Like, I literally saw in my snap memories earlier a video of me literally crying, like, I'm so scared to move to uni, and now it's all done. However, we don't actually move out until next month. So, that being said, we had to find a place, and now a lot's been happening. I've been interviewed places with Anastasia, been interviewed places with Haz, all that fun stuff, been interviewed places on my own. I've literally, like, been house hunting for the past. Well, for the past like six months, I've been on right move saving places. And obviously now the coronavirus regulations and rules meant that we could actually go and view places in public. It's really weird. You have to wear obviously the mask and the gloves and everything. And it's just really strange walking around like an apartment viewing and like not being able to touch anything or anything like that. It's just a weird experience. But anyway, we've done it a few times. I'm not going to tell you who I'm living with exactly or what's happening. I'm going to vlog the entire moving process. I know everyone loves moving vlogs. We was planning on living in the same apartment block as Flossie and Olivia. Like we all have a massive group chat where we were like right we're all looking for the same apartments and we're all viewing the same apartments and stuff but I think because some of the plans have changed which I'm not going to speak about now because it's not really my place not my plans but other people's plans have changed and what they're going to be doing next year has also changed slightly so for like six months or so I'm going to move back up towards home I'm not going to say where yet just because I want it all to be a surprise until Corona's like fully passed and I don't need to be in London like I don't want to spend London rent prices when nothing's really open yet when I could be close to home I can get a car if I move back home all that stuff so I think that's what's gonna happen. In fact, I know that's what's gonna happen because me and someone else have got a place. There's only two of us, but I'll, um, we'll explain that entire situation when it comes to it. And the apartment is absolutely beautiful, like my dream not my dream apartment, but like close to like my dream apartment and it's just fucking crazy. I'm really happy. We're just waiting on all the forms and stuff to go through. I need to file my tax for last year in order to like have it all checked and stuff because I'm self-employed. They need to have like paperwork to say that I can afford to live there. So I need to do all that, which is what I'm going to do today. So I don't really know why I'm vlogging today because I'm doing my taxes. <laughs> Friend, and I just don't know what the 
I'm thinking and I look disgusting so gonna end this little section of the vlog here the bath was great 10 out of 10 would recommend the bath bombs the bath sucks all that fun jazz and now I'm gonna go to bed because I look really patchy see you in the morning my teeth look so light <gasps> wow <laughs> Hi everyone, it's now the next day. I haven't actually spoke to my camera today. However, I just had a knock on the door and got like the biggest parcel in the entire world. The guy, obviously you're not allowed to sign for things anymore, so they took a photo of the fact that they, did deliver, uh, that they delivered it. And the box was really, really heavy and I was stood there like with one arm like, oh my God, what the hell is in this box? And then I remembered as I opened it, I got contacted on Instagram by a place called Candy Shack. Um, they've not told me to include it in a vlog. I just had to do some stuff on Instagram with it. But they sent me a massive box of American sweets. So I'll unbox it all for you in a second. But like, this is the big box. Freya's sat here. We're gonna this go through it. This is also the big box. These are the big right boobies. Yeah, I am the um, big box. And then I'm gonna eat some American candy. British people try American candy. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, you better not cheat. Mm -hmm. Just don't, um, don't make it sound like I don't like it. Not you. You are. You're unwrapping something. Yeah, and you're cheating. Can you just put it on my hands? No. I don't want you to feed it. So mouth is weird. No, you can do it to me afterwards. Okay, fine. How does that make you better? You've seen it, haven't you? <laughs> no. Open your mouth. Why, girl, Fraser Chas? <laughs> you're not opening that. I ain't open not my mouth. No, it's... Why do girls say that? Stop wearing my mouth. Ready? Uh -huh. Three, two, one. No, you're gonna <laughs> open it. Stop. Open your mouth. You're teetering away. Move your hand. What is wrong with you? <laughs> that was my plan all along. <laughs> Alright, game over. Bye! Bye, guys. Alright, bitch ass. So I close my eyes and then have this promo. You ready? That's really good. Really? What is it? I don't like apple flavouring. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm. Really? Yeah, I love that. I'm just like cardboard again. So you're a chocolate person now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What a sense if I took this on you and you go all week. It weakens my powers. The styrofoam. I know, I'm trying to think. Oh my god. Beautiful, stupid dog. Say something. The green eyed man. Come on, bitch. Don't tell me. There's Where's styrofoam. Penny? I know you have her. The green eyed man. Don't. Oh, ball! <laughs> ball the super dog! Should we watch Monsters in? What does your eyes No. Oh, mother of your eyes. You know what I mean? No. Right, the bed has been made. This is what it looks like. Oh, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. The McDonald's has arrived. Got myself a lovely little cheeseburger. And now we're gonna pick a film. I don't know what I wanna watch. We just watched Meet the Robinsons, which was really good. I a little flashback in the moment. Same vein of Meet the Robinsons, you know? Have a look on there. We TV. did what did we try to watch before Byron and we didn't like it? The one about the pirate ship. Oh Treasure Planet. Yeah, but we didn't really like it, did we? I don't think we were paying attention. Remember when we didn't like planes at first? And we loved true, it? Anyway, Why? we literally have every single, between have. like all three of us, we have every single streaming service in the yeah. entire world. Netflix, Disney Amazon, Plus, Disney, Amazon, Now Sky. TV, Hey You. Said film of choice is Emperor's New Groove. So I woke up this morning to a little parcel from ASOS and they've actually sent me over a little hamper of like picnic food. This is so fucking cute, like the strawberries. I don't wanna know what this is. These are like brownies or some shit. That looks so good. That's a big fat no, miss. Do I look like the picture that I just posted? That's a big fat no, miss. Byron still wants to fuck me though, so it's okay. I don't think you have the facility to that, big man. Oh, yummy. What a lovely little thing to wake up to. Has has made cookies this morning. Has honestly, has every morning just to herself because me and Freya don't wake up until like midday. And then has has already like done stuff like, you know, made a full batch of cookies while I've been in sleep. So. Point of view, you are taking a shit whilst has existing to fifth harmony. That's my girl. That's my girl. I just had my breakfast as well. So just thought I'd update you on what I'm doing. Yes! Woo! Ooh. I'm getting jaw for the next month. <laughs> I've literally just been watching uh, Hollywood Fix videos, like the paparazzi videos that they film of everyone. And honestly, the social media scene in America is 
fucking crazy compared to in the UK. Like, imagine in the UK you had all these paparazzi like following people around. Like, would never happen. People don't really give a fuck. It's crazy. The drama is thriving over there right now. Anyway, today I've just got out of the shower, by the way, which is why my hair is wet and my skin looks like this. But I just got a little ASOS parcel. ASOS have been delivering parcels in like these tiny little boxes right now, and I'm kind of living for it. However, the box is kind of like open, but I can't show you because my address is on there. I ordered a couple things from ASOS the other day just because it was Super Saturday and they had like a 20% sale, and my student discount is now running out. So thought I'd cop some stuff while I still get a student discount, you know? Very like color coordinated coordinated look and I really didn't intend on it but all the colors seem to be matching perfectly so I ordered oh, oh my god that watch is so much cuter than I thought it was gonna be I ordered a watch so I ordered this lovely little tote bag this is a really random thing to order off ASOS however I saw it I thought one it's really really cute and also I had a beige one of these just a tote bag that I literally used all the time whenever I was going to the post office or going food shopping or anything like that and has lost it so has post up. How cute is that? It's like the perfect colour and then it's got this really nice green. It says, what does it say? Be kind to yourself, sleep, breathe, lef reflect. Ooh, repeat, that's a bit cringy. I didn't realise it said repeat at the bottom. But I like the font and I like the colours. So I just picked this up to do my food shopping in. Also could wear it as like a little sexy like cooking up butlers in the buff thing if I had no underwear on. Just like, oof, in the kitchen. And then, let's just do accessories first. This is like a full outfit and I didn't even intend on this happening. It's all like green. Picked up this watch. So I have like a little silver watch that I wear all the time. Oh wow, this is really sweet. Oh. So when I don't want to be doing my hair, I can just throw on this cap. Bish bash bosh. I actually like this. I'm normally funny about caps because I have such a big head, but I like this. I think this has got really, really nicely with my wardrobe, but it doesn't have like a thing, so I don't know if it were gonna fit or not. Do you see what I mean? These colours really nice, works well together with my brown hair as well. Ooh, this top I'm really excited about. So I've been loving Nike right now, Nike Nike, whatever you want to call it. Um I've got a lot of Nike shoes recently. Let me just Push this down slightly. My fake tan looks awful on my collarbone. Obviously, I love this colour. I have literally like everything in this colour right now. Um, this is just a Nike t-shirt. It looks white on camera, but it's like the off-white beigey type of colour. And the little Nike tick is like reflective. That's really fun actually. Obey do the nicest trousers as well. Just some really nice green like trousers but like wide leg fun little trousers i think with some trainers on these are gonna look so so sick and also again i don't know what it is i feel like my hair color this color and then like a nice tan skin just works really really nicely <laughs> 